Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to animate uh, using symbols, using motion tween, classic tween, and using the asset library here. And so uh, in this scene, uh, we've got a ball bouncing down the stairs, hits a little seesaw, and then uh, this little ball jumps into the um, plastic cup. And so, I'm gonna reveal a little bit, I'm gonna push this up and reveal the layers that I have. One thing that you guys need to remember is that for everything that you animate, there has to be a layer. So for example, this ball, uh, we'll call this ball animation. And this ball has a motion tween. You can see because now that I've got it selected, it's green, but when I unselect it, it's yellow. So these yellow layers have a motion tween and this purple one has a classic tween. Now we're going to be going over the differences between classic tween and motion tween. Uh, but for the most part, a motion tween, you have access to the motion path and a classic tween is just from point A to point B. Very simple. And so you can see that uh, the, this ball has several keyframes here that were created automatically. If I hit play, one, two, three, boom, and then it hits the little seesaw, which triggers the other ball to jump. The other ball, the other ball is static all throughout until it hits that seesaw and then we replace it with an animated one we've got a wall that that wall is the blue in the back we've got the triangle right underneath the seesaw that's not animated we've got the background which is the stairs the actual seesaw the static the ball that's static the cup the ball that's animated and the other ball that's animated uh, at the end. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start up a new scene. We've got the new document dialog box, and we're gonna do with uh, full HD, 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames per second, and we're gonna leave it at Action Script 3.0. Let's go ahead and create command scroll wheel to zoom out and there we go we have a brand new scene the first thing i'd like to do is just start from the very very back and start drawing these elements so in this layer i'm going to call it wall and i am going to grab my uh, rectangle tool and i'm going to pick a color pick just a nice subtle blue and draw a graphic on here boom there it is no need to convert it into a symbol yet so we're just going to leave this as a graphic that means that this is live and i can modify it uh, as much as i can and in fact i'm going to lock it i'm going to lock it i don't want to mess with this uh, i'm going to create a new layer i am going to go again to my rectangle tool change a color to that uh, brownish color uh, and let's put a uh, black outline so I'm on my rectangle tool and the fill color is this brown the stroke color is black and the stroke size we're gonna maybe push it up to about eight maybe I'd say right about there first one the second one is going to be right about there and then the third one right about there it's not scientific or anything I'm just guessing so um, I am going to grab my selection tool and click on this line here this segment and delete it this one delete it this one delete it and then this one delete it I can convert this into a symbol if I double click on it to select everything right click and go convert to symbol f8 is a keyboard shortcut 
and we'll call this stairs. And we're going to use a graphic. It's just a graphic and the registration is at the center. Say OK. And you notice that as soon as we create the symbol uh, in our library, there it is. That means I could just drag another copy whenever. I'm going to undo that. Let's go ahead and create uh, the seesaw and the cup. So for the seesaw, oh, by the way, let's name our layer stairs. Create a new layer. This is seesaw. And for that, it's just basically a rectangle. I'm going to change colors to a light, light yellow. Maybe there. And then I'm just going to draw a seesaw right about there. I'd like to go ahead and double click on it to select everything. Right click and convert to symbol. We'll call this seesaw. See? and select graphic and hit OK. Next layer, we'll call this triangle. And we're gonna click and hold here and move to our poly start tool. With the properties of this tool, we're going to select a three here so that we can draw a triangle. And as I, oh, I'm going to pick another color. And let's pick this red. And as I draw this, you'll see that it's a triangle. Hold down the shift. And so that we can draw this triangle kind of like this. Double click on it. And right click, convert to symbol, triangle. And then bring this down. It's a little bit big, so... Grab the transform tool and scale it. Holding the shift and then move it down. There it is. There's our seesaw. And I'm gonna draw this cup here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I am going to select a white uh, with the uh, black stroke, but this time I'm going to select the rectangle tool and this time I'm going to do maybe a little bit less, maybe a six. And then I want to do rounded corners. So let's try a five for the rounded corners and let's make something here. Yeah, just about that, like that. Let's uh, go ahead and move it right here to where it's supposed to be. Let's make another rectangle with the color red. And then let's do it right about here. I'd like to go ahead and double click that and grab our uh, transform tool. Hold down the command so you can get that. Uh, and then bring this in to right about there. All we have to do now is the couple lines right here, get my line tool and I am going to make a line right here from right here to hold down the shift to right here from right there and I'll make another one right there and there's our cup. Let's select the whole thing, uh, right click, convert to symbol We'll call this uh, cup, a graphic, and the uh, registration in the center. Say OK, and there's our cup. Now let's go ahead and create our ball. Click and hold on the rectangle tool to get to the oval tool. And I've got the red selected, and I've got the, uh, um, the black stroke with a stroke of six. Holding the shift key down, I'm going to draw a ball. Uh, right about maybe that size and I'd like to add a stripe so we can see the ball rotate as it goes down I'm gonna zoom in on it and I am going to what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to select the center shift click to deselect 
the lines and then all we have to do is change the color to whatever color we want in this case it would be yellow so we've got the ball marquee select everything f8 to convert to symbol let's call this a uh, red ball leave it a graphic registration in the center say okay now it is a symbol and it is in our library red ball right there and so let's go ahead and animate it i'm going to do command 2 to zoom out uh, the triangle is on its layer let's create another layer this one is the cup and we're going to grab this one delete and then on the cup paste it there it is the ball let's uh, go ahead and cut it command x create a new layer we can call this red ball paste it in there and so it's going to be here and it's going to uh, bounce here bounce here bounce here bounce there and then boop, land right here let's go ahead and get that uh, get that animation done uh, we're gonna do it in about 50 frames so I'm gonna select the 50 frame on all of these layers one thing that I failed to mention is that we are working in the essentials uh, workspace and I'm gonna convert it to the basic uh, here are the workspaces this is the essentials workspace and I failed to see the buttons here that I need so I'm gonna convert it back to basic and then these are the buttons that I wanted once you have selected all of the frames here on frame 50, we can go ahead and add, insert a frame. Boom, there it is. And now we have an animation from frame uh, one all the way to 50. There's nothing moving yet, but now we can hit the play button and it'll actually play, there it is. And so uh, at frame 50, we're going to animate this ball uh, all the way down here. Let's make a copy of this red ball and uh, right click, duplicate symbol, and let's call it a blue ball. Blue ball, here we go. And this blue ball here, we're gonna bring in here. We're going to change it. We're gonna change the uh, color. I'm gonna zoom in, click on this red click on the red and on this red shift click on it and let's change it to blue all right cool this is the blue ball command two and then we notice that i noticed that this one is now blue so right click on this one swap symbol and we can bring in the red ball here again there's the red ball this is the blue ball and this blue ball, I'd like to make it a little bit smaller. Shift, and then bring it right here. And so the ball is going to bounce down the stairs, hit the seesaw, and then push this one into the cup. And so we've got everything selected. We've got everything uh, drawn out. In the next video, we'll animate the ball hitting the seesaw, animate this ball falling into the cup. I'll see you then. Thank you, guys.